Milo Salsa. Hi, welcome to Dance Poppy. I'm Nicole Lazo, and this is my partner, Chris Canales. Today we're going to work on how to do the lead and follow with partnering. Okay, so when we dance as a couple, you always want to dance with the weight over the balls of your toes. Okay, you don't want to be standing up or you don't want to be pulling back from them. Okay, so first of all, if you put your hands up with a partner and you lean into them, you, should, you shouldn't feel like you're overbearing and pushing into them too much, but you should have a little bit of tension here. So he can feel me and I can feel him. Okay, so we want to keep this angle as we go into our um, connection. We're going to do a closed position first. So the leaders can take the right hand lady shoulder blade. Follow, we're going to have our left arm on top of theirs, thumb in front of the shoulder, fingers behind. So this is our main connection. So like I said, when we were pushing with our hands, if we're pushing in each other here, I can be pushing on his shoulder and he can be pushing on my back. And that's where we're going to feel that. With the opposite hands, you want to connect. So there are lots of different ways you can connect and it's the leader's choice. Okay, so we're gonna go over a couple of them. This is our pistol grip. So leaders, if you put out a toy gun, ladies, we're gonna have our hand right on top of the bottom fingers. So that's our pistol grip. We have the regular closed position here and then there's another one where they would do in like on two or bachata with the lady's palm up, okay? So ladies, it's the leader's choice. You don't wanna go up to him and figure out what position you like best, okay? The one you do not wanna do is the interlocking of the fingers, okay? This is bad because when you go to turn, your arm might just break off, okay? So make sure it's just the fingers connected slightly so when you do your turns, you can rotate around the hands, okay? So all these are closed positions. If you want to do open position, that is when we have two hands connected right here. So you're a little further away from your partner, but it can set you up for different combinations, okay? So Chris is doing a pistol grip with both hands, and you can do the same thing here. You can lean into your partner. So, leader's gonna have his fingers facing the partner. Ladies, we're gonna have our palms up, and that's me resting right there. We can let our fingers rest as well, okay? So we're pushing in each other, and that's how we're gonna have the lead and follow, okay? So you can have a two-handed um, open position, one-handed open position, cross, okay? All these are called open position. So, the last thing, we have our compression zone. Compression zone is about chest to um, hip level. Whenever the leader has your hand in this um, part of your body, you want to be pushing into them, okay? The minute they raise the hand up, you're going to relax with it, okay? If he tries to raise your hand up and you're forcing him down and he's trying to go up, he's not going to be able to lead you into your combination. So this is compression zone, and then if Chris raises it up, I'm going to relax because he wants me to turn or something like that, okay? Same thing if the hand goes down. So here's my compression zone. If the hand goes down, I'm gonna relax because he can do the same thing, turn me, and the hand might go behind my back and you don't wanna be holding up too hard, okay? So compression zone, relax, compression zone, relax. We have open, we have, yeah, open position and then close position. All right, so when you're dancing with music, the same thing with your open and close position. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. So this is our closed position. And Chris has chose the pistol grip for his left hand. But remember, you can do the other ones. You can do the regular or the palm up. Okay, it's all about this connection on the side. So leaders, if you have a follower that is not giving you the right connection and pressure, let's say I don't have my arm connected at all. He can still have a really good connection here and he can have a fixed arm so his elbow isn't moving in and out. Does that make sense? Do you always want to have the hands fixed on her back? Ladies, if we're dancing with a leader that is all over the place, he doesn't have any frame, so Chris, let's go. I can have my own connection here as well, okay? So my thumb is going right into his shoulder here, and I have a fixed arm as well, okay? You don't want to be going close and then pulling and then going close. That should be fixed the whole time for your closed position, all right? When you do your open position, two hands, you want to give a little bit of compression during the compression zone, and same thing, you're pushing into your partner so that you can feel lead and follow. Thanks for watching this video on Dance Poppy. This was your framing connection for On One, and if you'd like to give us a thumbs up, you can check me out on NicoleLazoDance.com. See you next time. I know, salsa.